In other news this morning here, this is must-see video, terrifying. A hydrothermal explosion sending tourists running for their lives. Yellowstone National Park could be sitting on a time bomb. There is a super volcano underneath the national treasure. Cracked ground in Yellowstone Park. Magma rising beneath Black Diamond Pool. Yellowstone National Park, USA, July 23rd, 2024. The morning began like any other in the park's Biscuit Basin, one of Yellowstone's most vibrant geothermal areas. The air shimmered with steam, and tourists gathered around the deep turquoise waters of Black Diamond Pool. Unaware that beneath the calm surface, a massive pressure buildup was reaching its breaking point. At precisely 9.17 a.m., the ground shook and cracked open. A deafening explosion tore through the basin, blasting a towering column of steam, boiling water, and shattered rock hundreds of feet into the air. Park rangers later described the scene as a mini volcano emerging from the earth. The violent hydrothermal explosion obliterated sections of the wooden boardwalk, scattered debris across the basin, and left a fresh crater where tranquil pools once bubbled quietly. Scientists from the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, rushed to the site, deploying instruments to study what had just happened. What triggered the explosion? Early analysis revealed the explosion was not caused by magma reaching the surface, but rather by intense underground pressure. Superheated water trapped in a sealed pocket below the pool suddenly, flashed into steam when a small crack allowed. Pressure to escape? a chain reaction powerful enough to tear open the surface. According to USGS reports, fragments of sandstone and glacial rock found in the debris proved that the rupture occurred at a shallow depth, just 30 meters below the surface. Still, the force of the blast was enough to send, material over 600 feet high. The explosion at Black Diamond Pool was one of the most dramatic hydrothermal events in decades. A clear reminder that Yellowstone's geothermal system is not dormant, but alive and volatile. A second eruption, May 31st, 2025. Almost a year later, on May 31st, 2025, a new event shook the same region. This time, a USGS installed webcam captured the moment live. At 8.39 p.m., the surface of Black Diamond Pool began to bubble violently. Within seconds, hot water and steam erupted, forming a high jet that lasted for over 30 seconds. Though smaller than the 2024 explosion, it confirmed what scientists feared. The hydrothermal system beneath Biscuit Basin remained unstable. Permanent monitoring instruments were installed in June 2025, including seismometers, thermal cameras, and infrasound microphones to detect underground boiling and pressure buildup. The system was put under constant surveillance after the back-to-back -back events. Science discovers a magma cap rising beneath Yellowstone. In early 2025, scientists from the University of Utah and the USGS released a groundbreaking report. A magma cap, roughly two miles below Yellowstone's surface, had been imaged using advanced seismic tomography. This cap acts like a lid of solid rock trapping intense heat below it. Beneath that lid lies a massive pocket of semi-molten magma, the same heat source that powers Yellowstone's geysers hot springs, and explosions like the one at Black Diamond Pool. 
Geologists believe that rising magma pressure is slowly heating the upper crust, creating a chain of effects from ground. Deformation to hydrothermal instability. Satellite. Data between 2024 and 2025 also detected slight ground. Uplift in parts of Yellowstones, Norris and Biscuit Basin areas, less than two inches, but enough to suggest magma and hot fluids are pushing upward. Cracks and rising heat, signs of an active caldera. Following the twin eruptions, field surveys found new cracks and vents opening near the pool. Thermal cameras showed elevated temperatures along fault lines, with steam escaping through newly formed fissures. Scientists warned that these cracks are part of a broader system of hydrothermal conduits, natural pipes that connect the surface, pools to heat sources deep underground. When these conduits seal due to mineral buildup, pressure can rise catastrophically. Dr. Madison Hale, a volcanologist working with the YVO, explained, each hydrothermal eruption is like a warning pulse from the planet. It tells us that the system beneath Yellowstone is breathing, sometimes quietly, sometimes violently. Connecting the dots, is the supervolcano awakening? The word supervolcano often sparks alarm, but scientists emphasize that these hydrothermal eruptions are not volcanic eruptions in the traditional sense. Still, they do reflect activity driven by the same heat source, the massive magma chamber that fuels the Yellowstone caldera. The combination of ground cracking and uplift, rising gas emissions, hydrothermal explosions at Black Diamond Pool, and magma detected near the surface suggests a complex and evolving system. While there's no evidence of an imminent catastrophic eruption, these smaller events give scientists a unique window into the behavior of one of the planet's most powerful volcanic systems. Science research intensifies. After the 2025 eruption, the USGS, NASA, and the University of Utah began a joint research initiative named Project Caldera Rise focusing on continuous satellite deformation mapping using INSAR, gas monitoring for carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, high resolution thermal imaging, and deep crustal seismic studies. Early, data indicates increasing thermal energy. Transfer from the deeper magma reservoir toward the hydrothermal layer.